Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Canadian Card Pickers, and today we are going to open up uh, another blaster box of 2022 Series 1 Topps Baseball. Um, like I've mentioned before, I'm trying to do more videos as opposed to big videos. It's just, you know, it's a little helpful. Um, so I'm trying to get my hands on blaster boxes and stuff like that. Um, I do want to look into, um, I know Topps 2022 Heritage, or Topps Heritage, um, I think is being released, has been released, so I want to get my hands on some stuff from there. I don't know if they do hanger boxes, um, but I haven't I haven't opened Heritage in a, a little bit here, actually, so um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, hobby boxes aren't too bad on them, but um, I'm not a big fan of, like, I don't know, it just, the cards are a little more underwhelming, like... The inserts aren't as interesting or neat. Normally, I don't care too much about inserts, but, <clears throat> you know, it's still a little more interesting. But I'll have to check to see what's in there. Maybe we can do a video going over them. All right, so first up, we have Luis Gill. Or, yeah, Gill, uh, rookie card. Then we have Luke Weaver. Uh, Garrett Cole. He's been, I think, struggling a little bit this the beginning of this season. Uh, Kyle Gibson. We have Brock Holt. He's hyped. Uh, we got a Tony Kemp. Is he actually making that catch? That is stupid. No way. Um, then we have Jared Klenick. Ooh, we might have something special. It's tough to say. Um, we got Slam Diego Returns. Then we have Merrill Kelly. There might be an Icy in here, you guys. We got Edwin Diaz. Thanks, Blue Jays. Just got another run. Oh, never mind. Oakland did. That's too bad. Uh, Hoy Park, rookie card. Then we have Xander Bogarts. Then we have Johnny Cueto in the icy green. And then Javier Baez behind that. So we got Johnny Cueto, not a rookie or anything. But this is number 351 out of 499. Not super limited, but still nice to pull. A parallel like what are the odds of pulling this specific kind base card parallels green rainbow for one in 153 that's not bad that's probably the best hit we're gonna get from this box I'm gonna sleeve it up and then we'll put it on the stand on trial no Johnny Cueto has the wiggle right which often gets him sometimes in trouble for box and stuff I feel like I've seen there we go with that next pack um, oh yeah, let's let's check which one is probably gonna be our relic pack. These are just so filled with air; it's hard. I think it might be. I think it's this one. So we'll put the rest on top. That way we end with the relic, which is nice. We got that icy green though. I know it's just a green rainbow foil, but I like icy green. It's a pretty name. Uh, Jason Hayward. We got Joe Musgrove, Eugenio Suarez, Tom Murphy, Brendan Rogers. Then we have Eli Morgan, rookie card. We got Josh Naylor, Taiwan Walker. There's a little fruit fly around. Uh, Johnny Cueto again. Lucas Giolito, Buster Posey, Craig Kimbrell. Then we have a Charlie Morton, just blue retail parallel. And Chris Bryant, who he's with the Rockies now, I think it is. Yeah. A lot of people, <laughs> I saw a video and I was like, guys, the Rockies aren't going to be, like, aren't a good team still, even with Chris Bryant. Um, but you never know. You'd be surprised at what teams can do. Uh, Salvador Perez, not saying they're going to win the whole series or something, but Kyle Schwarber, Justin Turner. Dom Nunez, we got Anthony Bender rookie card, Garrett Crochet, or Crochet, whatever it is, I just don't want to turn this sideways, Stephen Brault, uh, Trey Ambergy rookie card, we have JT Realmuto, Zach Thompson rookie card, Wilson Contreras, Ryan Weathers, uh, then we have Road to the Show, or Welcome to the Show, Hank Aaron. That's cool. Good old Henry Aaron. Put the inserts. And then we have Yadier Molina with the stars of the MLB. 
think. They just got another run. Yeah, dang. Well, Toronto can even it out, hopefully. Starling Marte, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Ryu. You know, last year was not his best year, and then so far this year's not getting better. Sunny Gray, Tommy LaStella, Max Fried, Freed, Fried, I don't know. Uh, Tim Anderson, Alex Reyes, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Then we have Emmanuel Classe, rookie cup card. Let's put it in there. Uh, Kyle Lewis, Kyle Freeland, Joey Wendell. Then we have a home run challenge. This is Fernando Tatis Jr. This one, if I were to fill it out, I would wait. I actually will probably just not fill this out anytime soon, and then I'll wait until he's confirmed back in the lineup. That's what I recommend doing if you have any cards for injured players. The exception might be if you're at the tail end of these seasons. So I had a Eloy Jimenez one. And it was like, when's he coming back? You know, I have like a month or two to predict. So I just checked. I saw that he was playing in the, uh, we got Joey Gallo there. Um, saw he was doing some rehab games. Or, uh, he had his rehab assignment in the minors. So I was like, okay, he should be pretty close. And I predicted it and I ended up getting two. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I did a good job. Uh, he has Money Grandal. <clears throat> then we have Brandon Crawford, Eduardo Rodriguez, Archie Bradley, East Division Smiles, then we have Mr. Jonah Heim, Andrelton Simmons, John Gant, Martin Maldonado, Hyunjin Ryu, who's uh, starting today, struggling a bit already, Nikki Lopez, Ryan Zimmerman, Ooh, we got a Ronald Acuna Jr. He's on my Fantasy League team, but he's injured. But I know that he'll be back maybe in May, give or take. We got his 87 style card. And then we have Buster Posey. Hey, give me something nice. It is nice that we got the icy green, though. I like that. All right, here we go. So, Charlie Morton. Gio Urshela. Stuart Fairchild rookie card. Eduardo Escobar. Kevin Pillar. Then we have Adam Duvall, Zach Greinke, we have Yvonne Castillo, Ahmed Rosario, then we have Corbin Burns. Ooh, there we go. We have a Wander Franco Rookie Cup, Rookie Card, Perfecto. That's what I want to see. nice that we were able to get one. Usually you're kind of guaranteed to pull one if you're really lucky. Um, this is this is too thick of a uh, top loader. It's gonna thinner one. Just don't want to risk it rattling away and getting ruined. One app that I still want to try is called Doodilly but it won't work for me. Um, and it's meant to be like, to allow you to do your due diligence before you send in for grading. So it uses like, it just checks the corners and things like that. But uh, Christian Yelich, it just hasn't been working for me. Ah, here we go. Like I mentioned, sometimes you can get two. So I got a Yadier Molina Tops Chrome version of this card. So you can see it's uh, like, you can just tell by that curve. I can show it like a normal card is just going to be entirely flat but you can see this kind of has a bow to it it's really hard to show it but um, there we go a little better but yeah so we got the chrome version of that one that's cool i'll have to open up some chrome sometime soon and then aaron judge so this is the final pack this will have our manufactured relic which i don't have a stand for so maybe wander franco can just go back down here <clears throat> Let's see, we got Emmanuel Rivera. Then we have... Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, we have Jared Walsh. Nelson Cruz. Uh, Sammy Long, rookie card. Then we have Max Scherzer. Matt Barnes. Looks like they're that's their order, I think. Uh, Alex Wells. Corey Kluber. Then we have Jackson Kowar. Rookie. Shane Bieber. Kyle Seeger. Yarmin Mercedes, 
So here's our Jersey card. This is Juan Soto that we have here for this one. So it's just a lot of the really big names right now. After that, we have an Ernie Banks uh, die cut card. These aren't numbered or anything. I don't think they have too much crazy value. And then we have Jose Ramirez again for that. So there you have it. That's the video. We did get lucky. We got ourselves a Wander Franco rookie, uh, which I think it's pretty decent condition. Having a look at it. The corners aren't bad. Edges aren't amazing though. So it's very possible this could only get a nine. I'm not sure. I'm no pro, um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, we'll have to see. I also don't know who I want to grade with anymore. I know my, you know, I'm not going to say too much on it, but my brothers had some issues with cards that were graded by one of the big graders that were fake cards. So legitimate grade, fake cards, and he bought them and he's dealing with that. So <clears throat> I'm not saying who the grader is unless we decide we want to, you know, put them on blast. But uh, yeah, I'm debating whether or not it's even worth going through them. And then instead, you know, some of these big names just go with a you know, a different grading company just to slab it, right? And see the condition it's in. Um, you know, it's cheaper, it's quicker, things like that. And you know, t 10 years down the road, who knows what could be different? PSA, Beckett, you know, those companies could be whew, completely gone. You never know. You know, what is it? Beckett's only, not Beckett, um, PSA is really only 15 years old, give or take or something. Like grading's pretty new thing, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We got the Johnny Cueto, Juan Soto. We got the Wander Franco, Rookie. Not too bad. Pretty decent box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you can see more content like this. I do videos of openings, but I also do other uh, adjacent stuff to cards. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure to give it a like. And yeah, have a great rest of your day, your night, or your morning. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.